Being an entrepreneur is one of the most challenging and rewarding experiences you can ever have in your life. Well, why are so many entrepreneurs failing? Statistics show that if you are a business owner, the odds of you being in business five years from today are less than 15%. That means that over 85% of businesses will fail within the first five years. How is this possible? How with all of the desire for people to start a business, how can we have such high failure rates? Well, in this video, you are going to get the number one most important asset to being an entrepreneur. Hi, my name is Andrea Albright. I am the CEO and founder of Beverly Hills Publishing. We are disrupting the publishing industry by creating value for authors. And as an entrepreneur myself, I have discovered that there are a lot of opportunities to start a business, but very few people actually succeed in making it to the five year mark and beyond. So I wanna go deeper into what I see as missing from entrepreneurs who set out to start a business, but ultimately end up failing and having to close their business down. So I have been an entrepreneur for over 16 years. That means that I have not worked for another person or received a paycheck as an employee for over 16 years. I have become my own independent business owner. I've learned a lot and I am writing books about entrepreneurship. Today, I really want to think and focus on this one key ingredient that hardly anyone is talking about. We hear all of these failures. We hear about the businesses that are closing and the entrepreneurs who can't make their businesses succeed. And what I want to share with you in this video is what I have discovered as the one most important asset of every successful entrepreneur that I have ever met over the course of my 16 year career, seeing business owners start businesses and who makes it and who fails. So first, let me tell you what it is not. You need to have intelligence in order to be a successful entrepreneur, but that's not the key ingredient. Yes, you need to be innovative in order to see where is the market evolving and how can your business create value that no other competition is creating. But that's not the most important asset either. Yes, you need to have the best product and or service and you need to deliver quality. But that is also not the most important asset to being an entrepreneur. The number one asset for being a successful entrepreneur that lasts beyond the statistics of five years, 10 years, even 20 years and beyond is what I call ownership of outcome. Let me explain what I mean by this. When you are a successful entrepreneur, you have to take 
radical responsibility for everything that happens. But it's so easy to focus on all the things that are quote outside of your control. But I will tell you that the most successful entrepreneurs I know never see anything outside of their control. In fact, they take 100% radical responsibility. In other words, they have ownership of outcome. And this is why so many people are failing at entrepreneurship. I see entrepreneurs who are blaming the government or the economy. And while all of these events and we could say outside sources can influence how you navigate business, marketing, value creation, thought leadership, it will never take you out of the game of entrepreneurship when you own 100% of the outcome. The entrepreneurs who succeed know that when you take responsibility, you now have the power to control and to influence. If you are an entrepreneur who is giving your power away by blaming an outside source of influence, regardless of how many facts or how much evidence you have to back up your claim, you will never be an empowered entrepreneur. I believe entrepreneurs are the problem solvers of humanity. We are the visionaries that see a new possibility for society, culture, the earth, and how we will all communicate and collaborate as one human race. I have been through so many obstacles as an entrepreneur. And I will tell you the only reason why those obstacles didn't take me out was because I took responsibility for what was happening, how I chose to navigate through all of those situations and circumstances. Every time you take ownership of the outcome, you now get to celebrate when you overcome it. Most people are not up for this game. Most people do not want to give up their security blanket of excuses. They are not willing to take radical responsibility for every aspect of their life. And that's why entrepreneurs are rare. We are special, we are different. And if you have this desire in your heart to create something that has never been created before, to serve on a bigger level, and to have the deepest fulfillment and meaning in your day-to-day -day existence, then I wanna help you. I wanna help you be the most powerful entrepreneur you can be. If you want to follow along on YouTube, make sure you thumbs up this video and then subscribe to the channel. We're just getting started. There is so much more that I want to share with you. I am here to serve you. Let me know, where are you stuck? What obstacles are you facing as an entrepreneur? How can I support you? Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.